Hello, welcome to my pick a card reading. Uh, we have three piles. Feel free to take a moment to feel into which one you're drawn to. You can pause the video if you wish while you do that, and the timestamps will be underneath in the description. So we can begin now. If you chose pile number one, we have accept things as they are and the situation will automatically transform although I haven't always said it with words there is love in the silence close your eyes and feel my presence be still and listen to me tell you that I love you and offer and this offer card has been willing to come out a lot lately so there is love coming in for you your twin flame wants to come forward and offer you his or her love you're receiving their love right now. Maybe you have to steal the mind, quieten the thoughts a little bit, so you can become more attuned to it. But you should be able to be feeling their presence within you and around you. And you feel your twin flame's heart present with you right now. It's okay to slow down. In fact, if you slow down a little bit, at least internally right now, that's what your twin flames desiring because they'll be able to get hold of you. That's what they want. Accept things as they are and the situation will automatically transform. So if you're not where you're at just yet, that's okay. You can accept the situation is what it is, but you don't accept it as the end result. You let what's currently happening be enough whilst choosing more choosing to have it all and that's what's going to bring this offer of love in for you so you don't have to worry about your twin flame or what they're doing are they thinking of you do they remember you they love you they're coming towards you you have nothing to worry about every le every union has its own lesson and in this instance it feels like the lesson is unconditional love wanting and uh, continuing to love your person even when it appears that they don't remember you that they've forgotten about you that they moved on that is all part of it and the rewards will be enormous so that's it for the first card you are welcome to watch the rest of the video if you like i like to watch a different card on different days myself and now we move on to pile number two and we can turn the cards over for pile number two we have divine timing we have i took an oath with god and you to stand by your side for eternity I made a promise to find you in every lifetime and take your hand in eternal spiritual marriage. Our union is sacred and divine. Notice the small miracles in life. So there is divine order at work right now rather than divine timing. It feels like your twin flame knows that they're, or they're receiving signs that they're concluding some karma in their life. I mean, I use that word loosely because there's connotations, but it feels like it's coming, they're coming to an end of a cycle, to an end of the time period in which they had to do things a certain way and live with, a, with that particular level of separation. The separation is diminishing, piece by piece, layer by layer. It's okay to allow the process to unfold naturally. Because you and your twin flame are bound by nature. You said your marriage vows to each other a very, very, very long time ago. You are bound to each other for eternity. Every lifetime, well, in some lifetimes you would have been together, in other lifetimes not. But that doesn't really matter what's happened because you can choose to have to be in your union and a harmonious union in every future lifetime to come. And to be married on earth 
as well as in heaven. Notice the small miracles in life. Well, as the divine timing or the divine order or the karma ripens, however you like to perceive it, you'll receive signs that that is underway with, in the form of little miracles. And it's really, really important at this time to really notice the small miracles that are happening in your life. There's no such thing as small and large miracles because there's no order of difficulty in miracles. If a miracle which seems like um, something insignificant, something minor, comes to fruition, you celebrate because it's no more difficult for the miracle of all your dreams coming true, coming to fruition as well. And you pave the way for that, for the big things, by noticing the little things. And we, we completed the second part of the reading, so I'm going to move on to pile number three. Okay, so we will now turn over the cards from pile number three. We have Abandoned. We have Whether Together or Apart, I Feel a Prisoner of Your Heart. You are all I want, my everything. I don't want to be free for we are chained together in love. Union is a state of mind. You are one. So maybe your twin flame is feeling a little bit alone. You see there's a single red rose sitting on the chair there. Maybe he's desiring to look out of the window, see if they can see their love returning or perhaps believing that their love has left. There's long shadows. Be the sun, it could be moonlight. It could be dream time, it could be waking time. In any case, that's pointing to a feeling there. If it's in you to inflame, it's in you too. So is there anywhere in consciousness where you're feeling separate from love? You can call that out as untrue. Don't believe in the lie. The lie always feels bad. Bring the truth into that place instead. You and your twin flame, your union, you could never be abandoned. You can't be separate from love because you are love. This is just a little challenge that you're moving through together. Just feel your feelings, choose to move through it and you will. And that will bring your union to fruition, to togetherness, and you'll both realise you were loved all along. Whether together or apart, I feel a prisoner of your heart. You are all I want, my everything. I don't want to be free, for we are chained together in love. Well, you're not a prisoner in your twin flame union. You're, um, you're actually more free than you ever have been. It's like you're, when it comes to your twin flame, please know that you already have this person's heart. You don't have to do anything to win their heart. It was always yours. Just like your heart was always theirs. It's not that you're keeping each other prisoner, it's just the way that you were created. But rejoice in your oneness. Rejoice in the fact that you're one with one another. And you can never be separate and you never could be, never will be separate. Just continue taking the steps to clear that separation consciousness and you can experience your union together for all eternity. Union is a state of mind, you are one. So there's nothing your twin flame needs to do for this to come together. Nothing needs to happen between you. Union is a frequency that you move into once you clear out all the lower frequencies with a mirror exercise. That's all you need to do. You could be on your own in a cave, clearing away the blocks, the lower frequencies, raising your vibration and eventually your twin flame will come crashing through your door. What attracts them? And you are attracting them. Celebrate. You deserve all of this love and all of this love is what you have. Okay everybody, I'm going to close this reading here. I hope you enjoyed it. See you soon.